Hello Webs, hi. This is Fahad from Future Phones and today I have an Asus laptop to repair. It is uh, one of the Chromebooks. Um, it's a quite high-end high um, machine and uh, again it's a C-type of uh, charging circuit in there and uh, what they have uh, used in this motherboard is a slim port IC again we do not have the schematics for this uh, laptop and uh, although we do know that so when we connect the USB amp meter to this machine uh, I'm, the USB amp meter is showing 5 volts of uh, consumption you can see in the small screen there it's receiving 5 volt and it's also taking 107 milliamps 108 milliamp and 111 milliamps so this is the indication that our charging circuit has some shortage uh, on this board uh, it is also possible that uh, the shortage is after the charging circuit and this is what has been sensed by this uh, USB type C IC and uh, that's why it's not uh, allowing the 20 volts to go into this uh, motherboard um, I will show you uh, how the one of the IC that has gone faulty on this uh, motherboard I, will, I want to show you in the schematics that uh, what is happening with that IC the pinouts of those I, that IC I want to show you the pinouts of this IC so let's go into the microscope and you can see this is the slim port IC again and the number is ANX7447 and uh, I have found the uh, data sheet is uh, kind of uh, schematics so if you if you can see here so this is the ANX 7447 I see here and you can see all these pins they are either the power lines or the data lines you can see RX1 RX1 M TX1 P TX1 M these are all the data lines and you can also see here that we have again some data lines here but there is no ground to this IC except for one ground which is on pin number 49 so this IC has 12 pins at one side so if you multiply by 4 this is 48 so 48 pins are not connected to the ground but under the IC the pad is used as for pin number 49 and uh, this pin number 49 is, is ground only but when we check this IC here in our multimeter I can show you there is some shortage some pins are connected to the ground and this is where our problem is so if you go here you can see uh, so if we check around this IC I have found a shortage and I wanted to share with you uh, what sort of shortage you get and how you can fix it so my multimeter is in the diode range right now and uh, what we will do is uh, put the red probe on the ground and in the diode range we will check some of the values around this IC and you can see so this is fine so this side is resistance and this side is ground that is okay but if we check this IC one by one pin number one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, 12, and then 13, 14, 15, 16, okay, so you see here, pin number, I think it was pin number 24 here, so this is showing ground connectivity to ground see all these 
this capacitor is showing shortage from all sides and uh, if you look here Registered ground, that's fine. This bit is also ground. So, this IC has multiple pins that are connected to ground. Since we have established that uh, this IC has shown around so many components, and many of the pins are short to ground and as we have seen uh, in the diode range only one pin which is the pad 49 it is underneath the IC that is ground the rest of the pins are the data lines and your USB power line these lines should not be uh, connected to ground and uh, we have already given some power on one of the power line and uh, the IC was heating up so after we have established it, let's just remove it and uh, put a new IC on and let's check what happens. So I will be on 480 and the air is 20. Give some flux. So this IC is removed and I'm going to add some leaded solder on the pins. So this solder in the middle is too much for this IC so I'll just wick it out. And uh, this is some brand new ICs. This is pin number one. We'll face this dot. Uh, just drop it here. I can actually tint this also, so it just makes it very easy. So let's tint this pads. These pads are tied now. So we can put this IC on now. It will be much easier now. The dot is uh, here. This is the dot.
let's clean some of this flux and it will also cool the IC down. So it looks like this IC is soldered properly. I will give it a check before. Uh, let's check if we still get short around this uh, IC. So we are receiving a short here, here, here. So now you can see this, the situation is different now. Is no more short around this IC. This is the ground already. That's fine. So that's I'm quite happy with this. Uh, I'll just have a quick check if uh, all the pins are soldered properly. So I think I will have to give it a go with the solder and uh, soldering iron just to make it more better. These uh, connections need a little bit more work. just a little bit Press it. I think that should be okay. Clean it again. Okay, give it a check again. Much better now. Better, better than before. Yeah. Check this side. Okay, the pins look fine. This side. Pins look fine. Let's plug in the USB amp meter and uh, I want you to come here and we'll check. If we receive more than 5 volts, we are okay. And you can see we are receiving 14 volts, and you can see the lights are blinking here also. This one, this light is blinking. I'm quite sure that uh, this should power on now. I'll just connect the LCD connector. Okay. Connect the battery also. And uh, 
Let's see if it powers out now. So it's giving 4 volts right now, but it will reset itself and then we will get 14 volts here and we have a display. So this job is done. So yeah, so that's how you can fix the these new generation of the laptops. You can check, obviously we do not have the schematics. Uh, for these type of boards so we have we are struggling obviously but uh, with the ic configuration we can have a guess that which area we need to work at um, if you've already been fixing uh, electronics boards then you have a good idea that uh, if it is a charging section then which ic is to look for um, in this case i knew that i had to look at few of the ICs which is a slim port IC and there is one more charging IC in there so if uh, if I find any problem in that section then uh, just change those ICs and uh, adjust some components if any of them you see is like corroded or broken you can change them that can also help your problem but in this case the the short was obvious and uh, we just removed the IC and it started working uh, I hope you've learned something from this video. Uh, do like it, subscribe to the channel and uh, we will see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye.